So how long was it before you started seeing the, uh, the fish and the wildlife return to this? It uh, took at least 10 years, a good 10 years. And right now, since 80, so you figure now it's over 20 something years, 22 years, and I see a big, big difference. You know, you know how I know when it's working, when you see sharks come here and there and not afraid. When you see uh, the barracuda cruising for food and the eels, they know. I respect this, but the whales coming close here at the edge of this drop off and sit there for a whole day enjoying the peace and quiet. Do they know you? Yeah, yeah. Because I've laid a letter to them when they arrive. <laughs> you know, as soon as they come, and you know what, they never came to the drop off. You know right here, the drop off? Here. You know where the mm -hmm. wave is? Right there. I have never ever seen whales in my entire life as a child growing up come that close to the sea. But one day, I took my granddaughters to clean the highway, and what do I see but whales? So we pull out the ukulele over there at Camel Rock and start singing all day. Got out of the water, moved over, and then we played, the, and they followed us all the way here from then on, three years now. They come right, when they arrive, they come right here in the front, and the, the mother and baby come right in the front. At six in the morning, I would wake up and think, it's a log, oh my God, a huge log from the beach, a huge log from the business. And I would look at him, oh my God, it's the whale. So I immediately, every time they arrive, I pull out the ukulele and play all my Samoan old songs. And they stay there practically all day. Look at that big guy. So what's their favorite song? Uh, I play all the old songs, you know, uh, the ones that we you know, all the old songs from old days. Uh, everything, Fale Ali, you know, is all the songs that I know is probably a connection to the spirits of the whales. And they, and the day before they leave, all the whales will come in the farm here in our village, and they will all play out there, but mother again and baby calf will come right here and they stay here for about like, from six in the morning until two in the afternoon and then they all, that's when I know they're leaving the island because they come to say goodbye for three years now. It's a very emotional thing for me <laughs> because I realize that they have their mammals that feel too. I don't play anything from loud electronic stuff, I just play it really. And sometimes I go out with the kids in the kayak and just sit there and play for them. And then they will reach just like little children, you know. <laughs> and that's my, uh, and the dolphins, everything comes here now. They are so happy to be here because they are protected.